Hello everybody, it's Anna Grete here and I am here from Oslo, Norway in my living room. You can see the background, all the pictures, the beautiful pictures that I have here and the tree that I love. I love trees. I love trees. Now, welcome to Love and Heal Yourself part seven. The lucky number seven, hey? Some people have this as the lucky number, okay? Now, in this video, I will continue to talk about what is good for you, your body and soul. Because loving yourself and healing yourself is all about just that. Now, I re read from the screen as I usually do, if I can make this work for me today. Now, listen to yourself. That is, listen to your own body. This is so important, to listen to yourself. If your body is telling you to avoid certain foods and eat more fruits and vegetables, do it. If your gut feeling is telling you to distance yourself from certain people and get closer to those who have a positive aura to them, do it. If your heart is telling you to travel, start this project, spend more time in nature, to take a break, read this book, be with that person, go for it. Your higher self know what's best for you, so don't ignore the message. Listen to your body, listen to your soul, listen to your heart, okay? It is actually there for a reason. I mean, it's telling you things, so don't ignore it. Listen, okay? And just, and also just know that I am, that what I am talking about here is just words, tips and advice. I am not a professional. I am not a doctor. I'm just me. And that's more than enough as it, it is. But I'm a soul that wants you to have the best life possible. I want you to be happy and healthy as you can be. We are all on a different journey in this life and needs, of course, different things. But I still want to give you some good advice and words and quotes that you can take on this journey or you can take with you on this journey maybe it is good for you to hear this i don't know that that is up to you and you are the only one who knows what's good for you listen to your body but also know these things that how em em how emotions can actually harm you okay because anger Anger weakens your liver mm -hmm. and grief weakens your lung. Worry weakens your stomach, your belly. Stress weakens the heart and brain. And fear weakens the kidney. So therefore, listen to your body and think about how you're feeling because health is not only about what you eat and drink. It's also how you feel, how you speak, what you do. That's all. I mean, it's, yeah, it's a, the big picture here. It's a lot more than just the food and drink about when it comes to health. It's also if you think positive thoughts, if you're happy, if you're laughing, if you're exercising. So 
yeah if you do good things if you want good things yeah you understand where i'm coming from here right now you see don't speak negatively about yourself even as a joke your body doesn't know the difference you see words are energy and cast spells that's why it's called spelling okay so this is something to think about because yeah you need to listen to yourself basically and also just know that every day is another chance to get stronger to eat better to live healthier and to be the best version of yourself so every day you have that opportunity okay so take it take that opportunity make the best out of it okay The healthier your body is, the more easy it is for you to manifest what you want in this reality. Take care of yourself. It is important. You, you are important. Okay, so like I said, I read quotes, I read words, things that I find that is important, maybe important for me. But I'm thinking it might be important also for you. And um, so listen to this. Did you know at night your body repairs itself and cast, casts, casts out toxins? Okay. When you drink water or like I would say lemon water or even celery juice, first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, it helps the body to flush out these toxins and alkal alkalizes your body. Mm -hmm. So this is that's important to know, I think. Okay. Now I'm gonna give you a little warning too. Okay, a little warning. You see, exercise. You know, like walking, hiking, biking, dancing, uh, jogging, swimming, exercise, exercise things, has been known to cause health. And happiness yeah okay so that now you're warned okay exercise has been known to cause health and happiness okay so you're warned now okay you have to joke a little bit too right so uh it's good for us to have a little joke now natural immune boosters i'm going to talk about that now 10 minutes daily exercise eat more citrus fruits drinking turmeric milk before bed get sunlight daily that's the vitamin d source right managing stress and reduce sugar intake i mean you don't actually need more sugar because you're sweet enough as you are you know that don't you mm -hmm. yeah now listen you are the only one that can make changes within yourself others can give you tips and advice but it, it is all up to you and you alone so make good choices okay because this is for you for yourself for your body for your mind for your spirit for your health for your happiness for your inner peace so make good choices i'm telling you Start with changing unhealthy eating habits to healthy ones and make them your favorite. Changes, they start with you. Okay? I make my own changes. 
I take care of my own self, but you have to take care of you. And you are the only one who can do that. It isn't, it is not selfish to love yourself, take care of yourself and to make happiness a priority for yourself. It is necessary. So stop worrying that loving yourself and taking time for yourself is selfish. It is absolutely not. It is necessary. Okay? Because eating healthy, clean and nutritious rich food fills your body with energy, nutrition and antioxidants. Imagine your cells smiling back at you and saying thank you. Yeah, you see, you have a body that is so unique and we have been given a God-given immune system that actually does work. So, but of course, if you eat a lot of unhealthy foods and think a lot of negativity and stress a lot and are very much angry and stuff like this and have anxiety, it's not good for you. And then your body cannot function it, it cannot function the best it can. It needs also your help, okay? So fall in love with taking care of yourself. Fall in love with the path of deep healing. I mean, this is the Love and Heal You series that I'm doing. And fall in love with becoming the best version of yourself. But with patience with compassion and respect to your own journey. Because as I said, we're all on different journeys. We are on different paths in life, okay? Because those who think they have no time to eat healthy, will sooner or later have to find time for illness. And do we want that? I certainly don't. I don't want to have the time for that either. I have only time for being happy and healthy and just taking care of myself and loving myself, okay? So you see, do what is best for you, okay? You don't need to become a vegan or a vegetarian just to be healthy, okay? Just change something about your diet, the way you eat or drink. Maybe drinking lemon water in the morning and eating much more fruits and vegetables. That is a great start. Okay, because you have to start somewhere. And maybe also start walking more, being out in nature and thinking positive thoughts. Maybe doing affirmations and mantras, meditations, mindfulness, because you are worth it. You are so, so, so worth it. You really, really are. So, so please take care of yourself, okay? Self-love is asking yourself what you need every day and then making sure you're receiving it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know what's best for you. You're the only one who knows. Okay? I, I can't control everything in my life, but I can control what I'm putting in my body. And so can you. Mm -hmm. And so it is, hey? You are in control of your own life. What you eat and what you drink. And of course what you do. And what you feel. And what you think. So make good choices. Take real good care of you. Because you are important in this world. Believe it or not, but you are. And someone loves you. Many people love you. And you are worth it. You're so definitely, absolutely worth it. Okay? 
and just excuse me for two seconds and so let's see if i can do this no okay so um if you haven't seen all the other episodes of this series because this is lucky number seven so i made obviously six others other videos with the title love and heal yourself okay so if you haven't then please do go and see them uh, and i would of course be very happy if you shared maybe you have some family members or friends that needs to see these videos uh, and i would be happy if you liked them and if you subscribe to me but it is all up to you okay you have to make your own choices i can only give you good words tips and advice and read from quotes and things i find uh, the rest is as i have said all, already many times before it's all up to you okay i will thank you for listening to me and uh, i hope 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 that you got something out of this video and all the other videos if you have already seen all the other videos i hope that maybe it's enough for you to start rethinking things if you're not already a very healthy person and um yeah because like i said health is not only just about what you're eating it's also or drinking it's also what you do what you feel what you think and actually who you're with too basically your company you know your friends too they have an impact on you so choose the good ones hey because we want the positivity we want the love we want the compassion we, we want the good stuff and uh, the respect and all of this stuff right so um and you're worth it like i said you're a beautiful beautiful human being and you're worth it you're a beautiful soul we all are so uh, bless you and uh, i wish you all the best absolutely all the best and uh, take care of yourself and if you haven't seen all the other videos, I suggest you do it. Anyway, take care and uh, I will see you some other time. You just be good to yourself. You're worth it. It's not selfish. Thank you for listening. Bye.